Hey everybody, welcome back to Fawin Channel. Um, we're just going to explore a little bit more of Battlefleet Gothic Armada. And we're just going to take a look at the other factions. We played a lot of the Imperial uh, Navy, but what about the other guys? So, apparently there's like a uh, mini type of campaign. We're not going to do it. I might touch on it a little bit, but we're just going to play a couple games as these other factions to see what the deal is. So... I like that it shows what everyone's strengths and weaknesses are. Like, for example, Imperial Navy. They had the Nova Cannon, which we barely used. Um, we had strong prow armor. That was the front armor. And many ships can use torpedoes. Yeah, we use the shit ton of torpedoes. But we're not very good at long range. And our ships are slow. So, today we're going to try out the Chaos guys. Since they were our main uh, uh, antagonist, more or less. Uh, the fleets of Chaos are primarily made of ships that have turned traitor over the millennia. As such, a Chaos fleet can appear like a damn parody of the Imperial Navy's history. Full of ships that have long since left service and are rarely seen outside of the Eye of Terror. Okay. These guys have long range. Their ships are fairly fast. I, I had to chase them so many times, yeah. Many launch bays. So I guess they really like... Uh, uh, fighters and bombers and stuff. They don't do as much damage with their uh, macro cans, which is the broadsides. Not many torpedoes and no heavy armor. So they are a little weaker, but they're faster and long ranged. So we're going to check these guys out. Let's see the pirates. All ships are customizable, um, very resilient ships, very strong at assault actions. More likely to run away, bad at maneuvering, and bad at shooting. So, they're really just good for battering rams. The Eldar are very fast maneuverable, which I like. Um, they have the best fighter and bombers. Less likely to run away. They're, uh, they're very at fragile ships, so they, don't, they can't take a hit worth shit. Most weapons are on the front. And very vulnerable to assault actions. Ooh, I did not know that. Though we didn't really fight Eldar much, as much as these guys. So let's, we're going to check out the chaos, so let's see, uh, um, the Admiral, there's no, do I just have to randomly generate one? Yeah, we'll just randomly generate, uh, without skills, we'll see, I don't know what that means, but we're going to check it out. Oh. How big can this thing go? Oh, it can only go up to like 700. Okay. Cruiser Clash, Attacker, 1v1. Oh. We'll fight against the Imperial Navy. Put them on easy, because we just want to check out what, what we can do, really. So. Let's see what we got. We got the Desolator uh, Destroyer. Oh, no, it's the battleship. The Dust Raider uh, is a battleship. The Spoiler is also a battleship. That's the two difference. Super Heavy Prowl Lance. Lance Turret. Heavy Macro Battery. Super Heavy Missile Pod Turrets. Interesting. That sounds cool. And these guys have fighters. Okay. Then we have the Battle Cruisers. I kind of wish I could have one of everything just so I can kind of take a look at them. Um, let's take the Desolator out there and just check it out. We'll also bring, uh, we'll bring, uh, the Archon and one Cruiser. Try out the, uh, the Murder. <laughs> And Harbinger. So what do these guys got? They got missile turrets. Yeah, nobody has any torpedoes, actually. I did not realize that. Just little missile turrets. We'll take uh I'll take one of you. And uh Do I get to pick the Imperial Navies? No? Okay. 
Whoa. They look like spearheads. Hmm. The designs are actually kind of cool. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna move you guys over here. Right on this little dealie. Now, they said there's, their main thing is uh, fighters and bombers, but we haven't really grabbed any. Except for you. But let's see what we got here. Oh, you do have torpedoes. Okay. But it's only you. Okay. Come on, me! Ooh, okay. I like that their shields are red and uh, ours was blue. Let's just take a closer look. That's cool. Oh, those must be the prow guns. Oh. <laughs> Looking at his butt. Okay. Must be the little dude. Yeah, they look they all look like they're very uh uh triangle ish. <laughs> Except for you. You you look a lot more like the Imperial one that we that we used to get to use, except you have like giant chains and shit. You're the closest one. Ready eternally. Yeah, we'll hit the uh Oh, that's cool. Oh, did they just shoot something at us? Yeah, I love that they have like little little details here and there. Cruising speed set. Just show us something to kill. Command me. We are unstoppable. Just want to see how you fire. Oh, okay. So those are just like just like short range missiles. That's all it is. We have sighted an enemy ship. We'll follow your command for now. Oh. Process got destroyed for the dark gods. Why are you guys not, like not fighting like at all? For the dark gods. Let the galaxy burn. Yep, getting to my uh Torpedo range. Oh, 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 wow. That's doing pretty good. Just show us something to kill. Uh, who's the bombers? There we go. I forgot all about them. <laughs> Because I didn't really use them much in my uh, my Imperial campaign. I need to use it more advantage of these long range ships. I'm just so used to having to get in close, you know. Oh, you're running. Yeah, you can run. I don't care. You're on fire. Tremble for chaos comes. Set engines to full ahead. Reloading ordnance. Locking weapons. Your orders. I will say this though, if I have like a triangular spear shaped uh ship, don't you think you would want to like ram stuff? That's what I'm gonna do right now. <laughs> I 
cruising speed set for the ruinous towers. And fire. Cruising speed set for the dark gods. Ready eternally. Fire on board. Command me. Adjusting rotation. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe I'm just a poor commander at heart. We've come for your souls. Executing high energy turn. Moving to those coordinates. Yeah, they're definitely Ready like a long range me. sort. Engine's hot. Slaughter them. Come on. Oh, it gets a little bit. Let the galaxy burn. Just show us something to kill. Repair my ship or else. Your orders. <laughs> <laughs> Blew them both up. <laughs> oh, the other one's running too, I guess. Tremble, for chaos comes. <laughs> for the ruinous powers. For the dark gods. Oh man. I can totally see the appeal of these guys. They're actually pretty tough. Your orders. Come on, me. <laughs> Cruising speed set. Just show us something to kill. Ready eternally. Command me. Your orders. We've come for your souls. For the dark gods. Just got this little guy left. Just show us something to kill. Three, two, one. Come on, me. There we go. Let me get you actually in our range. You can't run away. Cruising speed set. Ready eternally. Oh, wait, I didn't realize they can go through that. For the dark gods. Oh, because we don't got heavy armor, it's like bad for us to do that kind of thing, I guess. <laughs> I honestly don't care if I lose this one. Moving to those coordinates. Them in mind and body. Yeah, we're gonna die. <laughs> we should have just engaged him at a uh, long range. And I think that's the trick with the Chaos guys, is to have the little ships, like, uh, act as your spotter. 
and just find the ships while the everybody else engages them from long range and shoot uh uh, sends fighter supports out, or uh, fighter squadrons at them. Forward to the slaughter. Yep, I'm gonna die. Boom! <laughs> okay, yeah, but I can totally see their, like, appeal. That's not too bad. If chaos Adam will fall in. Okay, so yeah, this does look like a little mini, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, campaign. So that's the transport ship. It's the Infidel Raider. They actually have torpedoes and light missile pods. And it looks like the missile pods, um, has a 270 arc, so like here. So it doesn't matter which way they're facing, really. That's actually not bad. The Idolator Radar. It looks like a spider thing or something. Missile pods, but it has a, a prow lance. And the Iconoclast Destroyer has just a shit ton of missile pods all over him. But it looks like he can fire from like any direction, really. So, I can see the uh, appeal of these guys just because it doesn't matter which way they're facing. Look at that. It looks like he has like giant like smokestacks on top. <laughs> okay. So let's add a light cruiser. Do we have points or something? Yeah, 100 points. So this one has launch bays and heavy macro turret. And you have lance batteries and heavy macro turret. Let's, uh, what's the range on this guy? 9,000 compared to you, 12,000. Your macro turrets on the front. What about you? Front. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll do the Hellbringer. Cool. So what are the different favors? We got Corn, their uh, god of like blood and stuff. He can do demonic lightning strikes. This is the basic lightning strike. Oh, okay, so they're my, uh, my, uh, boarding party type people. Okay. Yeah. So kind of like with the Imperial Navy, the, the Space Marine one that you picked, where they had, like, really good, uh, boarding troops for, like, teleporting on. That's what the corn is, which makes sense. He's all about blood. Let's see, Nurgle. Troop value is raised to 20. Every enemy ship within 2,500 units of the ship suffer a 3 hull damage per second. Whoa! Different instances of Void Locust. Oh, that's cool! He has like a damage over time thing if anybody's near him. That's actually pretty cool, especially if you're fighting Orcs or uh, Imperial Navy and they, get, they like to get in close, you know? That's actually pretty cool. But what's the Slaneshi have? Slanesh, Promise... The targeted enemy ship loses its active special order and can't use skills for 30... That's the thing that they were doing with me and during the in campaign where I couldn't, like, tell them to fire torpedoes or anything like that. And it just annoyed the hell out of me. Siren of Slanesh. Every enemy ship within 7,500 units has its insubordination chances raised by 10% if it reaches 30% of hull integrity. Four for... Oh, okay. Interesting. Basically make them run away and leave their uh, their buddies out in the open. <laughs> and then Zinch. What we got? We got 
Winds of Change which allows the ship to create an area around it which has the same properties as the gas field. Place in silent and run in special order. Oh, okay, so I can be invisible, more or less. Good, like, stealthy strikes. And then Warp Signature Echo allows the ship to create an unidentified decoy in any direction around it. The decoy moves in a straight line and can be sent 360 degrees around the ship. The decoy moves all at the, uh, at the speed of the ship, which has launched it. A button above the echo allows the ship to switch places. Interesting. Interesting. So you're more like, uh, Zinch is more like the stealthy guy. Slanesh is more of the, uh, you know, leave, leave your opponent stranded. <laughs> Nurgle is really good about uh, just killing everybody else around him, like close close quarter type deal. And then Mark of Corn is for the teleportation type deal. That's interesting though. That's interesting. Let's see if we can pick a skill. Are right, now are these? This they all look like they're the same skills as in the Imperial Navy. So I'm just gonna do plasma bomb. No upgrades. Okay. So now we're going to hit go to battle and let's just see what happens. Two fifty. So take you. Uh, take two of you and one of you guys. That should be pretty good. <laughs> Not as cool looking as the Imperial Navy, I feel, but I really like, uh, I like their triangular spear-like uh, design, because it reminds me of the Imperial Navy from Star Wars. I will say, they're, they're little, they're, um, little frigates here. They don't look nearly as cool as the Imperial ones. Ready eternally. Okay. We'll follow your command for now. So what do we got? Your orders. So you're the only one who has like special shit to do. Everybody else can just kind of auto engage. Bombers, fighters. Deployed from the ship's launch base, fire squadrons stay around the ship and try to stop any ordnance and torpedoes within 6,000 units of the ship. Well, right now, oh, I didn't even see that. I wasn't paying attention. Oh man, at once. that's uh, that's unfortunate. I was not paying attention. I forgot about those. Cruising speed set. Your stuff doesn't even get it within that range, though, right? Just show us something to kill. We've sighted an enemy ship. Okay, bombers go straight for that. Oh, we're fighting Eldar. We've lost an escort ship. Well, that was fucking quick. We have sighted an enemy ship. Oh man, he's splitting us up like no, like nobody's business. Come on, me. Oh, man, we're going to lose our ships like nobody's business. We've lost an okay. I am really confused at what the yellow means. Oh, 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 I missed those. Sweet. And bomber the shit out of them. Yep, 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 yep. Just show us something to kill. Let's finish off his little guys. We'll at least get some points for that. Oh, shit. Yes. What is that? Locking weapons. 
Oh, we just lost the other guy. Adjusting rotation. Cruising speed set. Oh man. Oh, what? We come for your souls. Let's just get out of here, man. Let's just lick our wounds later. What? We got spanked. <laughs> let's not... Let's not uh, sugarcoat this. We got spanked like nobody's business. <laughs> yeah, we got so spanked. Okay. Oh, you leveled up though. That's good. <sighs> so I'm guessing this kind of works just like the Imperial campaign, except there's no story behind it. You know. Let's see what our crew are. We got de demonic influence, which reduces 10% per level the chance of insubordination. Uh, oh, so it's like uh, the Commissar. Dark Navigator's Navigator, Heretics, Heretics, no, I think it's Heretics, I don't know, but that's our, uh, Mechanicus dude, Master Gunner, Cultists, Slaves, and Squadron Sergeant, do the Squadron Sergeant, and we can finally get an upgrade, um, this cooldowns for squadrons lower I like that idea but we're just gonna um, try to make them tougher yeah there we go all right we're gonna do one more yeah we'll do one more maybe I should use that money to buy another ship but whatever see what we can get into now <laughs> 250 now um you guys got killed like super easy I no wonder you guys have like half the health as these two guys here um well we'll bring a bunch of these guys let's just see what happens <laughs> No, I do like the design of their of their uh, their ships. Just the spear-like look, or harpoon-like look, I guess, because it's you know navy. But and they they just don't look as cool as the imperial guys. I feel maybe they would with the different um, favors, but unfortunately, we won't be able to showcase the chaos favors. We just don't have the. Uh, I'm not going to do a whole campaign again. <laughs> Ready eternally. I just do not have it in me to do that. So we just see those two, but I'm pretty sure there's like one like right around here. Let the galaxy burn! For the dark gods! You can engage at nine, since that's your range. Your orders! Don't even care. Do not even care. On the bright side, because I don't have torpedoes, I don't have to worry about my own guys getting in my Cruising way. Speed set. Like I've had to before. Ah, oh, there you are. Ah, uh, more Eldar. Got one. Let's go after his other little guy. We have sighted an enemy ship. Command me. Ah, 
Just show us something to kill! We've cut for your souls! Ready eternally! There we go. Your orders! Everybody's missing like nobody's business though. <laughs> Go Bomber Squadron! Are those... Yeah, he got little fighter squadrons too. Command me! Break them in mind and body! Cruising speed set! Hoo hoo hoo! Just show us something to kill! There you go! Oh! No, he repaired! That douche nozzle. Tear them apart. Your orders. Locking weapons. <laughs> Executing high energy turn. We've come for your souls. Blow him up. Eternally. Nope, he just got out of it. Just show us something to kill. <laughs> oh, he's running away. Oh, no, we got him. <laughs> Before you can get into the webway. <laughs> <sighs> I think we have to level up to like level two or three before we can get um, regular cruisers. I was hoping to get regular cruisers to see what they look like, but it's whatever. Nobody else leveled up. We'll get up to level two and then we'll, we'll call it for this episode. But at least this way we got to at least take a look at these guys. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. We have a hundred some. Can I get a favor? How much favors? They're 200. No, can't get a favor yet. Okay. I'm hoping we can get enough points to get a favor. We could just look at all at what all the favors look like, but... I really wish they did a, like, live preview of all the favors, because that would be pretty cool. I wonder if there's a way to do that in the regular skirmish. We'll look at the regular skirmish to see if there's a way after this, but... Let's, uh... Yeah, these, uh... Idolator ones... They're a bit tougher. They are still fighting Eldar. I swear their fronts look like spiders or something. Or like bees. <laughs> Command me. Let's see, only two this time, eh? Slaughter them! Uh, for all I know, he got two like light cruisers or something. Ready eternally. It's your range six. That's what we have you on. Come on, me. Sweet. The engines to full ahead. Come get it, bitch. Oh, there's the other one. Cruising speed set. Never know when you might need it, so we're gonna keep that up. You guys are both slow. Let the galaxy burn! Ship. 
Oh, we're fighting other chaos. <laughs> There goes the bomber squad. Just oh, look at that go! Your orders. I don't know what that was. For the dark gods. Come on, finish him off. He's dead. Setting course. Enemy ship. Ready eternally. So you're the big guy. That's fine. I'm gonna take care of all your little guys first. Tremble, for chaos comes. Finish you off, bitch. Just show us something to kill. Yeah, you're dead. You are dead, Move sir. To those coordinates. Break them in mind and body. Get the bomber squad we'll on your it. command for now. Cruising speed set. Forward to the slaughter. Cruising speed set. Command me. Locking weapons. There we go. That's what we want. What did you have? He has the Mark II, which we almost went with. But yeah, no, these uh these bomber squads are pretty tight. Tear them apart. Engines to pull ahead. There we go. Go right into my bomb, please. For the dark gods. Blow them up before he gets a chance to run. Bombers in route. <laughs> Look at those bombers go! Your orders. Okay, I totally see the appeal of the fighters and bombers. Now, when you're playing Imperial Navy, you gotta—it's all about the torpedoes. But with these Chaos guys, it's all about the fighter squadrons. I guess that's why they—they they made them all like long range. It's because, oh, sweet, leveled up. Because with long range, you can just keep sending fighters at them and then just shoot from a distance. It's level two, cruiser slot. Cool. Crew. I really wish we could see what they look like before we do it. Let's just take a look at what these guys are. We got the slaughter, which gives us missile pod turret, um, twin linked batteries, macro batteries, and another macro turret. Okay. Got the conage, missile pod, macro battery, macro turret, the mid, eh, macro battery, heavy prow lance. I like that. And then the Devastation, which has Missile Pod Turret, Ordnance Launch Bay. Um, wait, we have two Ordnance Launch Bays? Yeah, he does. Oh, this is the Lance Battery. But he does have two, so we're going to go with this guy. Cool. Skills. That one. And... the recharge 
Cool. So what should we make this guy? We're going to give him a favor, because... No, we can't. We're just shy of it. Okay. Well, that was cool. Turn to main menu. I just want to go to... If we go to custom game... Do I get to, uh... No, you don't really get to... Oh. Whatever. Yeah, sure. Do I get to... Oh, interesting. Because I lo unlocked these? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. With the, uh... With that skirmish uh, campaign thing, all the special guys I make, I can then bring them into these one-on-one -on -one battles. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, let's hit back. I just want to see if I can do favors. Maybe that's the only way you can do favors, is to continuously do that stuff until you have enough to use all the favors. <laughs> let's just see... Um... Uh, play with randomly, uh, with skills, sure. Yeah, cool. Whatever. We're actually not gonna actually play, so. Like you, can I? No, I can't. I can't actually set those. Oh, that sucks. I was hoping to, like, showcase all the different, uh, favors, but that's fine. As far as the uh, the favors for the uh, chaos go, that's kind of what we saw in the in the imperial campaign with the championships. So that's what they look like. <laughs> uh, you can just go back to those episodes and watch them, I guess. Okay, guys, I'm gonna call it here for now. Thanks for watching as I showcase the chaos fleet and playing around with their strengths and weaknesses. Tune in next time um, when I probably do another uh, bonus episode. Maybe the Eldar, maybe the Orcs. I almost forgot what that one works. And I'll probably do one for the Imperials just to see what's different about them. Because I didn't get to actually play out all the different ships and stuff. We'll, we'll take a look at that. But thanks again for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Be sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter with Fawin Channel. Take care, guys. I'll see you all next time.